First up on our beauty trip is Busan. This is a city south of Seoul and we're here at the more Pacific Story Garden Museum and Factory and we're gonna go in and we're gonna have a tour about Amur Pacific's history and their legacy and everything they stand for um, and see a part of the factory. I am so excited to see that so guys let's just head in. down here so we cannot film it but I can explain to you that literally 90% of it is machinery it's robots who's actually doing it and there are very few people but they quality check everything um, so everything is just done to perfection Before the tour started we all had a little iPad and we could actually custom made a lipstick and I made this one for my sister, I wrote her name on it and I chose a color she might like and then we got this, this is so cool! We are getting this garden tour guide and it's really freezing but right now we're in um, a beautiful little, uh, little house, glass house, oh my god it's so moist in here! Um, but they're showing us all of these <laughs> plants that actually makes up their products. So it's really, it's really kind of cool. Oh, this looks like the lava stones from Jeju, which is used in the industry products. <laughs> this is the headquarters in Yongsan um, of the more Pacific, and it's a huge building that has a ton of, a ton of floors. And one day, this is gonna be the CEO of a building like this. very bright in here but they have these compacts this is from the brand Tolwasu and um, every year they come out with these limited edition packs that's really beautiful they're so pretty and the original ones she said there was only around three of them in the whole world and they are around three thousand dollars so it's really expensive so we just had a little presentation about Laneige which is one of the brands that Amore Pacific is owning and they actually told us something very interesting that I have kind of noticed in the as a trend these days as you guys know in Korea is very known for the 10 step skincare routine so it's like very 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 heavy application of different products that's very popular in Korea but at least it used to be because we're moving more towards something that is very simple and they had a name for it they called it skip care which means that you skip you know unnecessary steps in your skincare routine which I really really like we also see that for example from Leah Yu with her makeup brand Crave Beauty who also tries to do that so we just arrived in Cheongdam and here is the Seolwasu Spa and Seolwasu is the luxury brand owned by Amore Pacific and uh, we have been giving a facial so I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna enjoy a lot hopefully <laughs> Hi Purina <laughs> Yeah, let's go! 
that was really comfortable and my skin right now is so soft oh i feel like a new baby butt <laughs> <laughs> a new baby butt. A new baby butt. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so guys, we just finished having dinner and I am tired and I'm ready to go to bed after day one of the Amore Pacific tour. Um, let me just show you guys the hotel room here because I'm staying at the Andas Hotel, which is the newly launched hotel in Apukuchong here in um, Gangnam. So let me just show you guys the room. It looks really great. It's like asymmetrical. So here is the toilet and then we have a beautiful bathroom. Look at this marble. Like this stone is beautiful. Oh, so pretty. Great lighting. <laughs> and here we have... Oh my god so pretty and a more pacific put a little flower here for me and some gifts thank you a more pacific hi guys good morning and welcome to day number two at the ultimate beauty trip here in seoul and uh today we have arrived in songsu um because it's like a very Songsu is a really really hip area with young people because it's actually an old factory area and here they have rebuilt a lot of the factories so that they are like cafes, there are bars, there are restaurants and there are places like this and this place is an old car factory that Amor Pacific took and um, rebuilt to make it look really aesthetically pleasing um, and then they have like presenting their beauty products so basically this is where you have to go if you're a big Korean beauty fan let me show you guys around so usually you have to check in here with your name and your phone number um, uh, but that's only if you have a Korean number so if you don't then you can get a little coupon here and then you can have a look around with that so since it's Christmas there are some uh, Christmas music going on but in here we have the cleansing room because in this space you can try on literally everything and you can do your full makeup full hair you can do anything in here so what is actually really nice is that you can cleanse off the makeup that you have on right now and just Take good use of all of the products that you can find in here. So coming down on the back corner here of the building, you have the showroom, so to say. And here we are divided into skincare on all of this line here. And when you turn around the corner, you have the makeup collection. So guys, let's just have a look at the skincare first. Here on the table here, there is a collection of all of the new products on. So if you guys want to be first to see what's new on the market soon, um, and more recently put all of the new products here. On the shelves here behind me, as I said, there is all of the skincare products. And these are um, arranged in alphabetic order. So you guys, um, it's really feeling like a library in here and it's just so aesthetically pleasing. And my inner Korean beauty obsessed little nerd is crying and is feeling like it's in heaven. I think this is what heaven looks like to me. Here we have Hanyul, which is a brand that I've been mentioning on my channel before. This is one of my favorite brands for sensitive skin. They are so good. This one is just amazing, this moisturizer. Okay guys. This is the beauty aisle and um, here you have all of the makeup brands lined up in alphabetic order as well. And again, you can test it out, you can try it and here behind me there is a beautiful long table filled with every single shade of lipstick that they have with all of the products that they own. Because I'm more specific owns over 30 brands. <sighs> this is just lipstick heaven and if you guys saw my arms now, you can see the, the hairs rising. Yeah, it's that crazy. Actually, a 
part of Feminine Pacific as well and as you guys know Espoa is the brand that I would 100% recommend for um, if you want to look for the best ever foundations and um, concealers they have such great uh, amazing products and they're beautiful on the skin totally recommendable if you guys are looking for a good foundation the pro tail one one-hour flight so yeah we just arrived to the resort that we're gonna stay in here on Jeju um, there is no more schedule for today so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the resort here and then I'm gonna see you tomorrow when we're going to the green tea museum see you Welcome back to day number three of the ultimate beauty trip around Korea. We are on Jeju. We arrived yesterday as you guys saw in the video and right now I'm standing in front of the Osorok Tea Museum here on Jeju. Um, Osorok is the most famous tea brand in Korea and it's originated here in Jeju. So you guys might be thinking why are we here when this is a beauty trip and that's because Amore Pacific actually owns Osorok and Amore Pacific has one of the main ingredients as green tea and that is why they created actually the first ever products that use green tea back in the 1980s if I'm not wrong and if you guys are aware of the brand Innisfree that is completely built up um, around green tea leaves from Jeju Island so that is why we are here and I'm gonna show you guys around a little bit and we're going to a tea ceremony as well and we're also visiting the Innisfree house and such so just enjoy this beautiful scenery on Jeju Bu. Um, what we're waiting for right now is a little tea ceremony, very uh, Korean traditional. We are exploring the tea fields here and they look absolutely beautiful. This is such an amazing photo spot. Right now the sun is really just in my eyes though. Yeah. <laughs> I 
arrived at the Innisfree house and in here you can usually do some craftings and such but we will have a brief tour and then we're gonna have our lunch in here. here they have only organic very locally grown food and they actually entered an agreement with the local farmers for um, fair trade so that is just really nice and good conscious choice if you want to have a nice healthy lunch here when you visit now let's head to the other wing which is a very newly adding to this place oh. I am so blown away by the aesthetic of this place so they built this house so that plants can naturally grow here you know all throughout the year you can see the plants in the ceiling and there are holes down in the ground that shows the moss and it's just so beautiful here even as far as the little pottery the plants are in are actually handmade by local artists so it's just such an ethical beautiful building i'm just blown away and you can see all of the industry product lined up here guys this is perfect for the spot just have a look at the scenery in the background of the tea fields i'm blown away the food arrived and it looks extremely aesthetic oh my god So good. In Korea, you can just say tomati. It means it's hella good. <laughs> we drove for around half an hour now and we are at Tongbaek Mal, which means um, Camellia Village. And apparently, here you uh, pluck a lot of the camellia flowers that's used in the um, Amora Pacific products. Yeah. 